So guys, next position we're gonna work a little bit is sometimes if you're not able to twist that guy's knee, maybe you weren't able to get that perfect position on that knee tour, or maybe the guy just is really good at kind of surfing on top of you, one thing that you can do is just like let go of the leg. It's gonna be really hard for him in the position that he's at to try to attack you in any sense because all of his upper body is out of positioning, okay? So I've got control of the hip, I've got his knee twisted, uh, it's going to be super hard for him to underhook or do anything without completely trying to like reset the position, okay? So um, the biggest thing about these positions is going to be more timing based than mechanic based. The mechanics are very important, but if the timing is really good, it's going to cover a lot of ground, okay? So once we're in that same position where, you know, that initial position where I'm here and I pull my bumps out forward and I get to here, let's say that I'm just trying to make you twist the knee and I wasn't able to. There's going to be two different types of Jedi mind tricks that you can do. There's going to be a Lucas Lake style and then there's going to be more like a Ryan Hall style. Okay, So Ryan Hall showed me this one and his timing is impeccable on this and that's why he's, he's so good at it. It's because once I let this leg go, if I'm here, a big problem that a lot of people make on the Jedi is as Sal starts to step, I start trying to set my hook and see how he's on top of me. Okay, I'm going to have to slide my body all the way out, but there's a lot of weight on me. This can be tricky. If you can get really good at the timing and you take your body away as the guy steps and you can almost sit him on the floor, I think that's the ideal perfect timing for this situation. That's not saying that if you do land in this position that, you, that it won't work. This is going to happen a lot of times because you're not going to be able to hit that move perfect every single time here, but I'll explain both situations. So ideally, if we go back for a second, here, as I bump Sal, boom here, and I start to feel him go back here, look, I'm going to stick my hook in. Instead, I take my body all the way away so his butt's almost to the ground, and I use this leg to help me. Now, the way that I like to finish the Jedi, a lot of people try to finish it more like a leg drag style, which is great. Um, but one thing that I find happens is, look, I'll try to go on this far collar here, and if his butt hits the ground, this, I try to hit this elbow, and I use this just like a modified, uh, like a modified butterfly here in sweep. I'm going to hit this, catch, here. It's super hard for the guy to scramble up because I have this lock. On, okay, so you can really use like almost that like police lock style to control the position. I use the police lock in lots of different situations and it works really, really well. So we'll go over that again. Here, one, two. As he goes to jump, look, I already want to think about not moving my hips, moving my body. Okay, so see how he's not really on top of me. See how his butt's more near my stomach and it's very close to the ground. This is gonna make the move really smooth, okay? Now, when I go here, look, I'm just gonna try to connect this hand to any type of material. I just think about hitting and kicking, okay? It makes it super hard. If Sal starts to try to scramble up to his knees, here, I just jump around with him, okay? A lot of times you can bowl the, guys, bowl, bowl the guy back down, or sometimes you can even use that as a submission, okay? Um, one other style of Jedi, that we'll talk about a little bit is more like the Lucas Lake style where he's going to hook that top leg. This is super slick and really easy to do. Um, I think, especially if you have like flexibility issues, this works a little bit better because some people have a hard time finding that right angle for that, like that bottom hook for the Jedi. If I'm in the position and I use my toes up on his leg, I can really catch him and suspend him up in the air. So it'll be good. You guys will be able to see it good from this angle. As I bump him forward, look, I catch him here. Very important, see how my inside of my knee is like on his hamstring, almost up near his butt? And my toes are hooked around. All I'm gonna do now is look, I lift here, I'm gonna push him into this hole. Catch. I like to slide this from the knee down to the shin, and I control this almost like a hook, you know? I like a grapevine, and I'm gonna go right here on my seatbelt, I'm gonna always pull him towards the top arm, and put my hook in. Okay? So, we'll go one more angle here. We're in this position, I'm gonna bump forward. As he starts to jump, I slide and I catch. See, I can suspend him up in the air with my toes here. All I'm gonna do is look, grab, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna slide this up, push him into this space, and grab here right away. 